In this video, we want to talk about how to dilute 91% rubbing alcohol to 70% rubbing alcohol. Okay, so during pandemic time, most time you couldn't find 70% rubbing alcohol because 70% rubbing alcohol is more effective to kill virus. But 95% rubbing alcohol is not as effective as 70% rubbing alcohol. Why is that? So this is something, you know, uh, beyond mathematics. So we will not talk about that. We will talk about how to dilute 91% rubbing alcohol to 70% rubbing alcohol by adding water to 91% rubbing alcohol. Go. Okay, so let's take a look a specific example, how we're gonna do it, okay? Now we can generalize in the method here. So here, that specific example here says, how much distilled water should be added to 16 ounce of 91% rubbing alcohol to dilute it to 70% rubbing alcohol. Okay, so this problem basically is a mathematical problem. So what we try to do here is we try to find how much distilled water. Okay, so which means that's relatively pure water there and to dilute 91% rubbing alcohol. So let's see here, mathematically, so when we solve a problem like this, when we want to find how much water there, so normally we need use linear equation to solve problems like this kind. Okay, so we're gonna say if we want to find how much water there, so we just simply say x is the amount of a distilled water, okay, needed. Okay, so now let's take a look here. Say you have this is, okay, 91% rubbing alcohol. So you have a 16 ounces here. And you need add water, okay? And that's water here. So you say you need X ounces water, okay, to add to this 91% of rubbing alcohol. So it dilute the, the rubbing alcohol to 70% rubbing alcohol. Okay, so now take a look at this cancer here. The X is water. When you talk about water, basically means there's no rubbing alcohol in that water. So that means its concentration is 0%. 0% rubbing alcohol. So that you have a 16 ounce rubbing alcohol, 90% of rubbing alcohol, you add X ounces water in there. So the solution, the new mixtures, okay, the new mixture solution, okay, the, is 16 plus X ounces. Okay, so that's volume of the 70% rubbing alcohol gonna be 16 plus X there. Okay, to solve a problem like this can, we need the following principle. So before mixing, before mixing, that's before mixing, the total amount of rubbing alcohol, okay, the, okay, the total amount of the, the pure alcohol in there should be same as the diluted rubbing alcohol, the same amount of rubbing alcohol, same amount of alcohol in the 70% of rubbing alcohol. 
So for this 16 ounces, okay, rubbing alcohol there, 90% rubbing alcohol, the total amount of alcohol in there is 16 times 91%. Okay, so that's water, no any alcohol in there. So you get, although you get X ounces there, but the concentration is 0%. So that means you, after you multiply this, this is the amount of alcohol in there, which is zero there. But the amount of seven okay, amount of alcohol in the 70% of rubbing alcohol, that is gonna be 16 plus X times 70%. That's the total amount of alcohol in the diluted alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Okay, so, but you can see here, before mixing, after mixing, the total amount of alcohol in the solution should be same as the diluted, okay? Um, same amount of the alcohol in the diluted rubbing alcohol. So that tells us the total amount of alcohol in those two solutions, we just add them together as a total amount of alcohol in those two solutions. This is water, okay? So that should be equals the amount of alcohol diluted rubbing alcohol, the amount of alcohol in the diluted rubbing alcohol, this is that much. This before mixing, after mixing, the total amount of alcohol should be same. So now we actually set up an equation there. So because this actually equals zero, so you actually get a 16 times 91% equal to 16 plus X times 70%. Okay. To solve this equation, let's multiply 100 to both sides. So here, multiply, multiply 100 to both sides the equation. To get rid of the percent. So you're gonna have 16 times 91 equal to 16 plus X times 70. Go ahead to multiply this together. Okay, and do distribution to that side. So I got 16 times 70 plus X times 70. I put a 70 in front of X. So the 16 times 91. So now subtract this number from both sides. So you have 16 times 91 minus 16 times 70 equals 70x. So let's see here, uh, 16, 16, you got 16 factor out, you got 91 minus 70 equals 70x. That's give us 21, okay. So you have 16 times 21 equals 70x x equal to 16 times 21 divided by 70. Reduce, reduce the 70 with and 21. Okay, so here and 16 there. So you can see here I have and the following. Okay, 70 divided by seven, that's gonna be 10, that's gonna be three, Okay, so now you have and uh, three times 16 divided by 10. So that three times 16 is four, uh, 48 divided by 10, which is 4.8. So that tells us if you have a 16 ounces, 90%, 91% of rubbing alcohol, and you want to dilute this to 70% of rubbing alcohol, 
you need to add 4.8 ounce, 4.8 ounces of water, the distilled water. Okay, you can get 70% of the rubbing alcohol. Okay, so that's what we have. That's mathematically how we actually do it. Okay, how to how we do this mathematically. Okay, so here this can be generalized in the following way. Okay. So initially, if you have the volume of the rubbing alcohol is V, 91% of rubbing alcohol with the volume of V there, okay, then you can see that becomes the V there. That's still going to be X, but here going to be V plus X there. Okay, so the, that's what we have there. Then you're going to have the equation going to be V times 91% equal to, okay, V times and X divided by 70, uh, times 70%. Same as before, you multiply 100, so you can get 91V equal to, after we reduce this, you get 70 times V plus 70x. Remember that we consider v as a given in volume. We don't treat this as variable. We only treat x as variable because we want to know how much water should be added. If your volume of 91% rubbing alcohol is v there. So now you solve it, you can see here 91 minus 70 91V minus 70V, so you have, that's going to be 21V and that's 70X. Both sides divided by 70, so that's 21 divided by 70. Okay, 21V divided by 70. So reduce, and that's by 7, so you're going to have 3V divided by 10 equal to X here. Okay, so that means if you initial rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol, the volume is V, then you need to add 3 tenths of the V, 3 tenths of the V, and to, okay, now you will get 70% of uh, rubbing alcohol there. So that's how we solve a problem like this. This is a so-called, and liquid mixture problem. So that's just a special case. And I think that's in mathematics shows people how much water, distilled water, you're going to add to the rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol to dilute it to 70% rubbing alcohol. So most time you get the 91% uh, of uh, rubbing alcohol looks like this, and which is 91%. 91%. So this is a 16 ounce, you see, this is 16 ounces. So you need to add 4.8 ounces in uh, water to dilute this to 70% of rubbing alcohol. Okay, that's the end of this video.